There once was a young woman who thought she wanted to be a part of a plural family. And then when it came time to move forward with them, she went to some really drastic measures to indicate that she changed her mind. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV and today I want to talk about the sister wife who faked her own death to keep from having to join a plural family. In the Seeking Sister Wife series, there was a family. Their name was the Aldridges. Remember them? They consisted of Jeff, Vanessa, and Sharice. So this threesome decided that they wanted a third wife and someone reached out to them. Actually, a woman reached out to them to say that a friend of theirs was familiar with their family and wanted to talk to them and possibly get to know them better with the goal of joining that family. And they were excited because they were looking for a third wife. This young woman reached out to them. She called them and they started talking, but they told her that they were on the Seeking Sister Wife show and she decided that she did not want to be a part of the show, but they decided that they would keep talking and getting to know each other. So they did that. They kept talking, they got to know each other, they FaceTimed. They did this for a few months until the sister wife, potential sister wife, decided that she was okay being on the TV show, which is when they met her in person, okay? So if you remember Jennifer, remember Jennifer? She met the Aldridges, long blonde hair. I'll put a picture right up here. She met with them at Niagara Falls because Jennifer was Canadian. So they met at Niagara Falls and uh, I guess they they clicked, but I remember thinking he is looking at her. The way he looked at her was creepy. I felt like the way he looked at her was creepy because, listen, in my eyes, this dude is like 50 some odd and his wives are in their late 20s or early 30s, okay? So all I see is a man collecting young women and calling them sister wives. And this Jennifer girl was going to be another one of those sister wives. So Jeff Aldridge and his two wives meet Jennifer at Niagara Falls and they have a picnic, okay? They seem to be getting along well, which is cool. Don't feel any weird vibes or anything like that. So they decide that Jennifer and Jeff will go on another date the next day and they decide to go ice skating. Ice skating is okay, but I'm sorry, just still gives me the creeper vibes because the way some of these men describe the women that are coming into their families or potential wives that are coming into their families is creepy to me when they say stuff like oh she has such a petite cute little body it's like they go ice skating and they seem to be getting along well and i'm trying to figure out how she's not creeped out by this guy but anyways they finish their day they agree that um jennifer will meet with vanessa and sharice his other two wives later that evening so jennifer's phone rings and she answers it and uh, have you ever been on a blind date and arranged with a friend or a sibling or a whoever to um, call you with an emergency phone call? That's what this felt like. So Jennifer gets her phone call and you can see production, you know, all scrambling cameramen. You can, now the cameramen are catching each other in the shot because they're like, what the hell is going on? So Jennifer takes the call. She goes off to the side and she, you know, says a few things. You can tell by her end of the call that it's probably something that's gonna have to make her have to leave, right? So anyways, let me back up for two seconds. Another issue that they have with Jennifer is that she smokes, okay? But she said she would quit, which whatever. So anyway, she gets her emergency phone call and she says, oh my gosh, I have a family emergency, I have to leave. So, okay, they're like, all right. Uh, she says, I'll call you about, you know, later. Cause remember she's supposed to meet the other wives and they're supposed to hang out or whatever to see how compatible they are. So she leaves. Uh, the next thing they know, they don't hear from Jennifer. They hear from Jennifer a couple of days later when she texts them to tell them that she's in the hospital because she has a burst appendix, okay? And which they think is weird because 
Jennifer has told them a whole bunch of things up to this point that just don't, they don't add up, right? So she tells them she has a burst appendix and that she's in the hospital. Okay, whatever. They take it with a grain of salt and they're thinking, the Aldridges are thinking, you know, maybe we just need to give her some space. Like this is feeling kind of iffy. We're not really feeling this, but whatever, we'll give her her space. So they say that a couple of days later, someone who identifies herself as Jennifer's sister texts them to let them know that Jennifer died in the hospital from the burst appendix. Now, they, because they've gotten to know Jennifer as someone who doesn't uh, like to tell the truth, they take it with a grain of salt. Like they don't even mourn this woman because they're just kind of like, okay, whatever, right? Then uh, while they were on the date or uh, while they were getting to know Jennifer, while they were still in the whole, I don't want to be on the show thing, while they were getting to know her, she told them that her husband died a year prior, right? As it turns out, Jennifer's still married, husband not dead. She also said that she had a baby. Jennifer no had no baby. So they're all, they're all, you know, mm -mm, this is not going to work. This is, you know what, we're, we're good. We're good. Don't, they don't text her. They don't try to stay in touch with her. So they're feeling like this is weird because we didn't even reach out to her. So why she felt like she had to lie to us to not continue the process is like their clue. They don't understand. And I get that. I have no idea. Why would someone fake their death? so that he didn't have to deal with someone who wasn't trying to deal with them in the first place. I don't get it. But yeah, if you guys were wondering, because I watched the show and watched them, you know, go ice skating and have their dates or whatever, and I remember that she was supposed to um, get together with the wives so that they could see how they bonded, and she just disappeared. They never mentioned her again. So for some reason, it popped into my head, and I was like, I wonder what ever happened to her. I know that's what I found. She faked her death. And then they never had anything to do with her. But the Aldridges did make this super, super long post on their Facebook page. They made this post on their Facebook page to explain what happened to between them and Jennifer, like in 2019. It doesn't show up anywhere else, like any on any of the entertainment blogs or reality TV blogs until a couple of months ago. So like March 2021. It doesn't show up for three years. But yeah, if you guys are wondering what happened to Jennifer and the Aldridges, uh, yeah, they're done. They were, were done. Jennifer faked her death so she wouldn't have to join the family or something. Who the hell knows? Mm -mm. Don't know. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. Anywho, that's all I've got for the Aldridges and Seeking Sister Wife. My name is Debbie. This is Shality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.